Welcome to Amistro Sensor. In this video, we are going to talk about F1 visa interview questions. And one of the questions uh, the, uh, or people are confused if uh, their parents are not uh, sponsoring them. Let's say their uncle is sponsoring them or grandma or grandpa is sponsoring them or friend of father or uh, uh, some other sibling is uh, sponsoring them. And they think uh, that could be, uh, is that okay if somebody else is sponsoring them and uh, will their visa will be approved or not. So let me tell you a few of the scenarios here uh, the visa officers uh, they are not gonna care about that uh, if your grandma is going to sponsor you there are a lot of uh, um, uh, scenarios here in America uh, grandparents give actually a lot of money to the grandchildren uh, because they're retired they have a lot of money and uh, uh, the parents are actually by themselves are struggling with the house payments car payments and their own student loans so grandparents are one big resource uh, if they have money and they can sponsor the education of for their grandchild that's great and the visa officers uh, uh, know this very well because they are from America and they know this this is a very common practice now if you have strong ties with your uncle and uh, he is uh, willing to sponsor you there is no problem in that so if uh, your uncle is sponsoring that there could be some things uh, the, the the visa officer uh, can ask and I have learned this uh, with the uh, from some of the students uh, so they will ask uh, okay your uncle is sponsoring you what job he has uh, your uncle is sponsoring how many kids he has let's say your uncle has already six kids and now he's also sponsoring you and uh, his salary is like uh, maybe two thousand um, dollars per month how he's gonna catch up all those expenses when he's sending you abroad have six children pay their fees school fee and all those kind of thing so you have to come up with really great answers so you have to prepare yourself very well uh, whoever is sponsoring let's say your grandma is sponsoring or grandfather is sponsoring you can tell okay my grandma has tons of money uh, she owns some houses and rental properties uh, then uh, that's uh, how she she doesn't have a whole lot of expenses and I uh, I'm the first uh, grandchild who is going to study abroad and she's very happy with that and she uh, is very in contact with me and understand my goals uh, because uh, she understand if I go abroad go, come back with good education I can serve this uh, country and uplift the people of this country so she's very much willing to pay, pay for my tuition and everything now if your uncle is uh, uh, going to help you with that Let's say your uncle doesn't have any uh, children, so that's, that will make it very easy. You will say, uh, my uncle thinks, uh, uh, takes me as his own son or daughter and he loves me very much and he's always uh, supportive in my education and he always wants to help me out with that. And this is one of the reasons, <clears throat> excuse me, so this is one of the reasons uh, he's uh, supporting me to go abroad and get educated and come back and uh, serve the country and uh, have a better future for me. So uh, if you even your f uh, father uh, father's friend is sponsoring you, that is okay. I have seen a lot of uh, like I go to I have two kids. They go to the high school here, and I go to graduations, and I see that even in the community, people who has the money, they come to the uh, high school and they will say, okay, we are going to uh, donate or uh, sponsor some student with five thousand dollar. The student who has good grades for uh, let's say for they want to go in nursing. Okay, I will give five thousand dollar to that student. So they are called on the stage and they give that $5,000 check to the students and that's how they help different students. So that tells the visa officer has same mentality. He grew up in America. He knows that people do charity, people help other people, the people that let the, um, uh, support the young students and all that and they want them to be succeed, successful. Uh, and if uh, your uh, father's uh, friend is sponsoring you tell them you your father and uh, the person his friend he has a long-term relationship uh, uh, you know him as the uncle from childhood very strong relationship uh, uh, he doesn't have kids or maybe he has only one kid uh, but he has a, he's a big businessman he has a lot of money and uh, he feels that if uh, he will uh, help me uh, if, I mean, uh, I'm going to be a good person and get educated and come back to this country and uh, uh, help other people as well. Okay, so there could be a lot of answers. I'm, I'm just kind of making these answers for you. But whatever 
uh, who, whoever is going to sponsor you make some good solid uh, answers uh, because uh, at the time of the, the interview you you, you I, as we are not native um, uh, English speaking people so it get harder for us to find the words and the uh, speak uh, at the answer at the same time so I will suggest whoever is going to sponsor you it is okay people uh, the visa officer is not going to judge you for that one just make sure you have uh, some good uh, um, connections with that answer uh, reasons so whatever the reason you are given make some good solid reason be confident about that and show him yes that's why this person is sponsoring me thanks very much and i hope your visa uh, f1 visa get approved good luck and i will see you guys in next video